Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make some mini sweet pepper jalapeno poppers. Let's get it. All right, guys. To start off this recipe here, we have a bowl. Uh, we added in uh, about a brick and a half of cream cheese. It's about 12 ounces. Then we added in a half a cup of Kobe Jack cheese and half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And then we added in some uh, bacon bits. That's gonna be basically the filling for our uh, poppers. We set that to the side. Pulled out some of our homies here. We have uh, two jalapenos and one serrano pepper. And we just went ahead and chopped those up, diced them up, scooped them all up and placed them into a bowl. Uh, with the rest of our uh, filling ingredients. We then went ahead and seasoned that up with some onion powder, some garlic powder, uh, some black pepper, and a little bit of kosher salt. Then we tried to mix this mixture up, but my spatula wasn't doing nothing. so. Went ahead and just popped that in the microwave for about 30 seconds to soften up the cream cheese a little bit more. And then uh, went ahead and mixed to combine everything together. Now we're going to start working on our uh, peppers. Uh, these are mini sweet peppers. Uh, the kinds you get in, like a, in a bag, just a mixture of red, yellow, and orange uh, mini bell peppers. Uh, so we went ahead and just basically took a knife and cut off this uh, stem, uh, the top half of them, and then just sliced them all right down the middle. After we did that, we basically just went ahead and uh, brought these over to the sink and uh, took a spoon and just cored out the insides of the uh, peppers. I took out all the membrane and all the seeds out of it, just slid, came out very easy. And then just rinsed them all off and cleaned up um, all of the seeds and everything from them. And here we are, we're just basically fast forwarding the rest of the process of cleaning up the rest of the uh, peppers. We had about a total of 24 peppers. I believe this was about a bag and a half because they come in a small, like one pound bag. Um, just make as many as you need <laughs> as many as you need and, and, and go ahead and do that start that process um now we uh, had all our peppers cleaned up and this is our back to our uh, filling we took this and just basically scooped it all and placed it into a ziploc bag and took some scissors you can use scissors or a knife and you cut a small incision in the bottom of them so that way this can be an easy way for us to uh add the mixture into the uh into our peppers now the uh here we are going into the process of placing the peppers onto uh, placing the filling onto the peppers. Um, I thought that it would come out a little bit smoother, but my filling was a bit thick, so the it had a little bit of a hard time basically just uh, being spread from the bag. Um, I could have basically popped it in the microwave to soften it up a bit more for about 15 to 20 seconds, uh, but it was already in a plastic bag, so I didn't want that to get too thin or bust or anything. I also could have just possibly added some cream, some uh, sour cream to it to thin it out a bit, but we just went ahead and worked with what we had. So I just spooned out, uh, scooped out some dollops of the filling and placed them into all of the peppers and then just took a spoon and smoothed them out and just basically pushed them into all of the cracks and crevices of the peppers and then just flattened it out with the back half of the spoon to fill up, fill up our peppers. Once they were all done, we would just took them and just lined them all up on our uh, baking tray. We did put them on a lined baking tray, raised tray. And this is what all of our peppers look like, um, all halved and all filled. We went ahead and popped these into the oven at 400 degrees. Uh, we cooked these for about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, just start washing them after the 15 minute mark. You can pretty much go however uh, long you want after the 15, 20 minute mark. Um, how dark you want them. It's not, don't worry about the, the filling, the uh, cream cheese filling. It's not going to burn. It'll blacken up a bit to crisp up in some spots, but it's not going to burn um, or like burn to a crisp or anything. Um, once your peppers are to a softness that you like, you're pretty much good to go. Um, here's what all of our peppers look like. Uh, took some uh, pictures of them. You can see we have some of the jalapenos sprinkled all throughout the filling. Um, the filling came out very nice with the, uh, we seasoned them up nice with the salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder. 
and um, added the jalapenos to them and bacon bits. So basically just some loaded uh, mini sweet peppers. Um, here we are doing a taste test of them. You can see the inside of the filling and uh, the uh, peppers were nice and soft. Um, these are really good. Um, not as hot as a regular jalapeno popper would be because of the fact that we're just using the mini sweet peppers to do that. So they're, they're very toned down. You can definitely have these as a party. Um, this was, we've actually made these. This was when we were watching the Super Bowl for this. And this was some of the appetizers that we had for the Super Bowl. And um, this came out very nice. You know, not as hot. If you wanted to add them a little bit hotter, you can just add some more jalapenos or use either some hotter hotter peppers um, or add some hot sauce to it um, or just use a regular jalapeno as, as, as a filling as opposed to because we did chop some up. So uh, this is a nice, good recipe to go to. Uh, go ahead and check and try this out. If you guys like, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please subscribe and yours. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.